Hey guys, what's here and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel. Today guys, we're reviewing a mod that I honestly can't believe I've never reviewed before in the past. Um, I swear... I, I mean, like, I looked through my videos and I couldn't find it. If for some reason I have reviewed this mod in the past and I didn't know, um, I apologize in advance for my lack of knowledge but uh i swear i haven't but today guys we're reviewing an amazing mod that has updated to 1.12 and honestly has a nice strong standing of actually being in our series to come in the future in the near future so i'd like to share with you guys the amazing mod known as the chisel 2 mod and before i do anything i realized already that i don't have the stupid game rule set to uh set the daytime cycle there we go Anyway, so uh, Chisel 2 mod, essentially what it does is it allows you to take any normal block in Minecraft and chisel it into a variety of custom blocks just for decoration, really. This mod is a heavy decoration mod. Um, it has several hundred blocks within it, and it uses vanilla blocks as its base. So if you guys are excited to see more mods like this in the future do click that like button show your support this video and get to a whopping five likes i greatly appreciate it. it would show that you guys still want to see more showcases like this in the future and we're already standing on a few of the blocks um we have we have like the the anandesite block look looking pretty good we have an anti-block looking pretty good and snazzy um rate my arena one out of ten please in the comments down below my my showcase area uh i tried to go a little bit crazy with this one but that being said, just to give you guys a premise of how we're going about this, we're going to look at stone blocks to start us off with. Told you there was a lot. Uh, so what you're going to need to make any of these blocks is a simple chisel. That is right. And how you craft this simple chisel, and I'm calling it simple because the recipe is simple as well, you will need simply one ironing it in one stick. However, if you're me and you want to go all out, you want to do the diamond chisel. So you're going to want to have one diamond in one stick. There used to be an obsidian chisel in the earlier versions. Um, There isn't in this for some reason. But diamond chisel will do you um, about the same as the regular obsidian chisel would do. I think it just has more, dur more durability because this can break. It does have attack damage, 3 and 4 attack damage, so you actually can't hit things with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's actually pretty funny because... Um, did I break something? I swear I broke a sign. Anyway, so like you can't actually break things with this. It's pretty funny. Oh, it thinks I'm trying to chisel. That's why it's not letting me. Um... I mean, you can't attack things with this, is what I'm trying to say here. Oh, that's why. I think I hit the sign, but it thought I was chiseling the sign. That's kind of funny. Now, how you chisel things is very simple. You right-click, and you will see this inventory up here with the chisel right there, and then all these items. So, let's say I want to chisel a piece of... Well, that's a monster egg. Let me say I want to chisel stone. So, you take the piece of stone, you shift right-click it into here, or you can click it into here, and here's all your options. So, you will see there's normal, like, mossy stone brick, stone brick, crack stone brick. The the chiseled stone brick the regular blocks they're used to minecraft and then you'll see this whole variety let's say you wanted something like this chiseled stone trodden brick you click it bam you got it you place it and you're good but let's say you don't want this anymore you just right click throw it back in change it to maybe this one bam this one's called the uh slanted stone brick or maybe let's just say you want a panel i think this is one of my personal favorites bam and you're probably thinking, well, what can you do with these? Well, you can actually, like, um, with some of the blocks here, I'm trying to see if any of them do it. None of these seem to do it, but there are some that you can actually put together and the pattern will kind of fuse here. Let me try to get one of those really quickly. I believe, uh, which one does it? Is this one that does it? Yes, this one does. So as you can see, if I combine them together, it looks like one huge block. The pattern like goes to the outline. It doesn't just sit by itself like that, as you can see. And as I combine them, it uh, just makes the outline even better. I love the blocks, how they do that. That's probably one of my favorite things with this mod. Um, another thing you can do is, let's say you're using the diamond chisel, which again is only one diamond. If you throw it in here, and let's say you want it to be this, this poison color. So you put that there, you command it to do a panel, and then while it's still in there, you can go over to the stone blocks and literally just left click and it will chisel them all to the same block that you selected. Pretty cool, right? Well, you can also do, let's say you want to change it to, oh, I don't know, maybe this block. So put it back in, change it to columns. And as you can see now, I am using the column structure. So it's only doing columns. Um, as you can see, this does not work with uh, dirt. It has to be the same type of block that you're chiseling. Um... 
I believe if you're doing it this way, you don't need to supply it with blocks. I could be wrong. I know you like, cause I'm in creative mode doing this, but here, actually, let me see. If I go into survival mode, let me see if it'll let me. So yes, as you can see, even with one, I'm able to just kind of go through and do as many as I wanted to, um, and change it back to the panel. It's honestly good if you want to redesign your entire house, but you already have a block set up, but you just want to change the type of block. This is the way you want to do it. Um, looking pretty cool. And honestly, already you don't even recognize the land. As you can see by the durability, however, it has 5,000 durability here. Let me see what the uh, regular uh, chisel does for durability. Now, the normal chisel does work the same. You can still chisel singularly, but it does not have the design patterns. That's why the diamond chisel is all around better. Um, and the durability is only 500 so you can see it's a great leap from 500 to 5000 literally a thousand times better so you want to just have the diamond chisel overall that's probably the best bet now enough about the chisels let's show off some more of the blocks so as you can see those were all the stone we got some mossy stone i'll grab a few of just to show you so here's one pattern of mossy stone here's another pattern of mossy stone here's another pattern of mossy stone and here's another pattern of mossy stone so as you can see um the combinations are limitless what you can do with this mod it's honestly insane if you're running a modded server and just want to have some cool decoration blocks again this is the mod for you you want to have something as crazy as this um and honestly it's not that much of like like it fits in well with mod packs i don't believe this can be very any like i don't believe this can like crash with any mods i think this is very uh this works well with other mods i believe even some mods are compatible with it in the sense that their blocks too can be chiseled um as for how you install this mod there is a side mod that you need to install or else this mod will not work it'll tell you if you try just running the chisel mod right from the start it'll come up on your micro screen saying you need this mod as well it's called like the ctm mod i believe or i forget what C the ctm stood for but you need that mod installed as well i'll try to remember to link both in the description but if i forget on the one um it'll just tell you whenever you uh whenever you try installing the mod anyway that being said moving on we're gonna move on to the uh what do i have here the dirt blocks that's right you can actually chisel dirt itself so let's say you wanted like a cool dirt block like this as you can see it also has that pattern outline thing so pretty cool as well if i put a block in the center as you can see the pattern kind of goes around it which is pretty cool um and yes all these blocks have the same elements that their normal block would so stone you it still breaks like stone uh dirt you'd still use a shovel to break it with um pretty cool this block actually has like a pattern on the side of it as in contrast to the top which is pretty cool uh here's another dirt block like this and some more dirt like this that actually is like dirt cobblestone the pattern i like it it's pretty cool honestly something minecraft could add in not to this extent because this is like eccentric but they could add in a few more pattern blocks because it's been a while since we've gotten actually different pattern blocks i don't even think it's like the beginning of minecraft because like stone we've only ever had like the four we've never gotten any extra ones if you think about it um who knows maybe for 1.14 we'll get some more patterns not entirely sure maybe hopefully we'll see uh moving on we have the glass and the glowstone. The glass is honestly the coolest. I'm going to grab some of the uh, better glass you can possibly cr uh, chisel. And then some of the glowstone, some of my personal favorites. Actually, wait, I think they got rid of my favorite. They did. There used to be another one that I really liked to use for glowstone, but I guess they don't have that one anymore. So this is the glass. This is my favorite glass that you can get. Literally like the, uh, what is it called? It's, yeah, the Chinese like lantern or window-esque type. Um there's this pattern called the asymmetrical <laughs> pattern uh there's this one which is like just the straight glass if you want to have a full window with like just this cool like uh after image type effect um pretty cool and then we got the uh, other glass over here which is pretty interesting it's called the dungeon glass this one's called the bubble glass very uh obvious because it's got that little like uh texture at the top corner makes it look like a bubble glowstone um and yes, all these do light up. Let me just set it to night really quickly just to prove to you. Um, the glowstone does actually carry light, as you can see, just like a normal glowstone would. Um, just so you know, all the blocks that would normally have their effects actually do give them. So that's pretty cool. And I forgot to mention, I'm showing off all the blocks that like are in vanilla Minecraft, but there are a lot of modded blocks they've also added in. Like this block here, the anti-block. 
there's a completely like other set of blocks you can craft in this mod i'm not going to be going over all of them because as you guys know how i like doing bigger mods i don't like showing up everything the mod has to offer when it's similar to what i'm already showing off just so it's not literally spoiling 100 of the mod i'd like you guys to experience the stuff for yourself as well and find some secrets but moving on we have the ore blocks that is right redstone is the the big one here there's a lot of different redstone blocks you can grab we'll grab a few lapis grab a few diamond which is you'll probably know some interesting ones there and i'll grab a few emerald so essentially again you craft a redstone block you you turn it into this and i believe they still carry the redstone signal oh, that looks like wood that's actually really cool um so here's some of the redstone patterns you can get here is some of the lapis patterns if you're designing like an underwater ocean post minecraft 1.13 um or not post but prior to 1.13 uh some cool ocean blocks uh diamond blocks honestly really like what their effect was for the diamond blocks because they gave it more of like a uh they gave it more like of a uh, metal type look to it now this one's really cool i believe how you craft that one is you combine it with obsidian um this one's also got a very cool pattern these are diamond blocks remember guys so it's pretty insane i believe you can decraft them back into diamonds themselves once they're done if i'm remembering correctly um emerald blocks again pretty cool pretty cool emerald designs uh don't exactly know what you'd be making if you're making like the uh, emerald city from wizard of oz i guess but aside from that honestly if you guys are working on building like a huge like city project or a uh a space like anything crazy that you need a ton of decoration blocks for this is probably the mod for you to download if you're building it to get the best that you possibly could like acquire um with detail and whatnot it's probably best to use this mod just i'm not being biased that's just my opinion um but yeah it's pretty cool i think we went over yeah we went over all the blocks we have i guess i can show off the anti-blocks because i had them in the showcase so anti-blocks uh they're pretty crazy with their uh colors they're very intense colors if you will and what i mean by that is like they used to be a lot brighter i see they dimmed them down a bit but uh you can see they're pretty like they're pretty popping we'll say i guess that would be the right word for it if you're building with these blocks even like the darker colors it's pretty obvious the colors it's not like blending in at all they're very like just there um i don't know how to describe it maybe like a video game type color like one of those old-fashioned uh tetris video games or something like that I i'm trying to think of what these blocks remind me of they remind me of something but anyway it's pretty insane but i think that's gonna wrap up the showcase guys i think i've gone over most of the blocks and i've probably only shown you at least like i'll say 25 percent of what the mod has to offer maybe even less so definitely you want to download this mod for yourself and check out all the different block combinations you can produce in your world and don't forget to uh like share and subscribe to the channel guys for more amazing modded content like this again do not forget the down for this mod will be linked in the description i'll try to remember to link the other mod with it um, if I don't, I apologize in advance, but um, I'll try to remember. That being said, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.